Slide 14, metaphysics. The study of reality, existence, being. What does it mean to say that something is real? Or that it exists? Or that it has being? It is. What criteria must be satisfied? Similar to what criteria must be satisfied to say that you know something? Well, what criteria must be satisfied to say that something exists? Here's a sample criterion that we all accept. We believe that something generally exists if we can see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, or touch it, right? Or if we can detect it through some kind of extensions of our senses, like a telescope or a microscope, or through Google Earth or some other mechanism, right? So the things that we can detect through our senses are generally things that are physical. And physical things occupy space, and they have volume, they have a dimension, they have a size and a shape. Right? So the theory that the only things that exist are things that are physical is called physicalism or materialism. Right? Things you can knock on, touch, bump into in space, things that you can interact with, cause and effect, have relationships with, those are physical things, material things, physical things, that's physicalism or materialism. Okay, if that's your criterion for existence. That's your metaphysics. Your metaphysical theory is physicalism. If something is real, you, can, you have to be able to touch it or detect it in some other way. What about time? Let me make a comparison between time and water. Water is a stuff, it's a substance. It occupies space. It has volume. You can bump into it. So when water comes into your house, from the street, through the pipes, from the city, or wherever you live, it goes into your basement and there's a meter in there with a wheel. And the water going through turns the wheel. One gallon, two gallon, three gallons, four gallon, five gallon, you know, whatever, right? Click, 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 click. The water is turning the wheel. Water is a stuff. It's a substance. You have to pay for those gallons, or your landlord does. Is time what's moving the mechanisms in your watch? Is time a substance like water? No, it's not. So if you're a physicalist, you would have quite a hard time justifying the idea that time is real. You can't see it. Where's the past? Where's the future? You can't detect either of those. Do they exist? Are they real? That's just a sample. Of course, other metaphysical questions are, is God real? Is the mind real? You can see the brain, but you can't see the mind. So metaphysics is all about questions about what are the criteria that make something real? And then having various criteria, is this real? Is that real? Is God real? Is time real? Is cause and effect real? Is free will real? We seem to make choices, but do, do we actually really have free will? If everything is cause and effect, and this causes that, then our choices were caused. But what does free will mean? It's a deep puzzle. You might not really sense the kind of common sense way in which free will is as problematic as time, if not more problematic. I would speculate that the puzzle of free will is the most discussed puzzle in the history of philosophy, and it's still not resolved, although many people think that it has been resolved and that there's no such thing as free will. But if there's no such thing as free will, then nobody's morally responsible for what they do. Nobody's praiseworthy or blameworthy. 
Nobody deserves to be punished or rewarded. It's all cause and effect, and nobody's in control. The free will is an illusion. And many scientific thinkers and philosophers and neuroscientists think that they've shown that free will is an illusion. I think they're mistaken, but that's just me. Although I've written a number of books and dozens of articles and chapters and blog posts and given presentations and lectures and panels and whatnot on free will. Um, I think that people who think free will is real are in a kind of minority nowadays among philosophers and scientists. That's a metaphysical issue, free will. And of course, so is the issue of the self. Is the self real? Now, these ideas about the free will and the self, they're not on the slide, but they're, they're like time. You can't see time, touch time, measure time, weigh time. Nor can you do that with free will. Nor can you do it with the self. What is it to be a self? What part of you is the same even though all the other rest of the parts of you are constantly changing? Is there some unchanging thing, which is you, which endures through all the changes? Since you were an embryo and an infant and a teenager and so on. What is the nature of personal identity? What makes anything what it is? And is anything what it is for more than a moment, since it's always in a state of change? Those are some metaphysical puzzles. All right.